Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about is Modern Masters 2015 worth it? I'm going to go ahead and say this from my perspective. I do have a different perspective. My budget, my monthly magic budget is slightly larger than most of the people I've talked with. I also support my local store. So if I don't buy these cards, no one's going to buy these cards or and you might be like, oh, everyone wants Modern Masters 2015, not if you primarily sell video games. Now, that being said, the price point is pretty much similar. I'm not going to get a price lower than $225 a box, and I'm probably not going to order less than half a case, being two boxes or half a real case, which is three boxes, or maybe a case, which is four boxes. I don't know. I haven't decided how much I'm going to order it yet. The price is pretty much settled. I can get a box at $250, one single box at 250 i can get um a case at 240 a box and i can get a case and a half at 225 a box or pretty much order as much as i want at that price point now when i look at the retail so if you open the pack uh, your average expected value for a booster box is 250 dollars at retail that's what star city game sells it at now you're not going to make money from that because you're not star city games as well as the fact that they're shipping. Uh, so at 225, you basically break even if you open the box. Now that might not be the play on the box. The play on the box might be just like Modern Masters 1, hold the box sealed. Modern Masters 1, you, I could have got boxes at 190, 185, or even lower at one point. And if I kept them, they would have been $350. So I did purchase a case back then. Uh, that was a mistake to open it. <laughs> it kind of always is a mistake. Uh, obviously, if I open, if I buy any boxes now i'll open it on my youtube channel which has like benefit i mean you're not going to make money from youtube views you just don't now uh, when i'm looking at the fact uh if you're going to draft it yes at 225 price point i would buy six boxes if you are not going to draft it and you just want to open it to make money that's not possible at 225 it just is not um the retail price is very close the expected pack value or box value at retail is exactly what the box is after paypal shipping and handling as well as ebay fees you're not going to make money from opening boxes that being said wow it probably is a fun experience um it's got to be a one of the best experiences you can have opening a modern master box and i suggest if you can get it at a good price let me know if you guys are interested at 225 that's probably i can probably buy a few boxes in store for you guys um i don't have a problem doing that and I actually might just store it for later to draft a friend. 225 a box is pretty good. I'm looking at that number extremely hard right now. And the whole idea of like buying a box of Modern Master 2015, is it worth it? Well, how do you know if it's worth it unless you know what price you're buying the box at? If it's 250, you break even at retail. So you get the same amount of trade bait and you get a great experience. If it's less than 250, you make some expected value if what you're doing is using trade bait. Now, the issue comes up with if you can get it for 225 if you can get it for less i feel like i can get it for less if i order like 12 boxes i'm sure i can get it for like 200 but the question is do i want to spend 2400 dollars on this and these are numbers i'm looking extremely hard at right now because uh my friends have bailed on me and it's uh, pretty much i have the capacity to buy or i have the ability to buy any amount of boxes i want uh given the fact that none of my friends are interested in modern masters 2015 and if i make a larger purchase i can get a cheaper price on it for everybody who's in that buying group i don't know i'm contact me on facebook if you're especially if you're local houston dallas san antonio uh and let's go ahead and make a deal together bye guys